All right. So one ghost came down, one ghost went to the left. That's still fine. Uh, we could do turn undead again, but I want to. I might save that for a little bit later. Rest at last. We don't have enough MP to spam it too much. And honestly, the monks are pretty good at killing them. Hmm, should I kill that one? Probably. Eh. We got 7 MP. There's skeletons, and there's at least one more group. Oh, well! Maybe if I move... This is super greedy. This is, like, the best level for Leanna to, to get a bunch of level ups. Like... The healer has such a difficult time getting experience normally. This just this map is just built for her to grind, and it's it's very tempting for me to to try to give all her give her all the ghost kills. So we will try. It sounds like we've died again, though. All right, you're just spamming fireball. That's fine. Doesn't kill anything. Just weakens them a little bit. Ah, the young ones. So oh, this is where you fled. He's very upset. Uh, hey, Vargas. You there, boy. I've been looking for you. I shall avenge Zorum's death. He, um, he's mad about us killing his buddy. Oh, good. They turned to fight, uh, what's your face? Liana. Perfect. Excellent. Come, come to me, my precious ghosties. Yeah. Zorum, wait for me. Before this day is done, those children's heads will rest on your grave as an offering. He's really mad about us killing his, his protege. Just great. First we're forced to battle a shrine full of undeads while Egbert steals away the dark rod. Now Vargas is here with an axe to grind over a subordinate who is too foolish to retreat. Ah, stop complaining. Start killing. I mean, I sympathize a little bit. The guy's... <laughs> he's got his own grenadiers. Watch out. Uh, he's... Got a valid concern. I don't know if we're close enough for this to be good. We could kill a few, but not all of them. Come on. All right, she can finish this one. The monks can kill off the boss. The boss spook. Well, maybe. <laughs> Whatever, if her monks die. It's, eh, it's not very smart, Blue. I thought they'd be able to move a little bit further. I was wrong. Oh, no, no. No, Jessica's gonna... No, she's not. Fine. Jessica was going to kill steal it with a fireball. I refuse to let it happen. No, anything but that. Okay, we're going to... We're going to... Um... I'm going to try to swoop in and protect the, the monks here. I think we already know that the ghosts won't attack the fairies at full health inside the zone of defense. I think. And I may have overextended my monk attack a little bit. I wasn't expecting that to be such a problem. Uh, we do need to deal with this guy. Um, Keith can probably handle it. 
I'll just set up him and uh, Archer Boy over here. It should be okay. Maybe I'll send Lester. He needs a, a kill too if I can get one. Alright. I probably should have manually moved the fairies. I got lazy. Now you can see the AI is always targeting our characters with their AoEs. It doesn't hit us, but it's like the center of the AoE. They don't really target smart. So there's probably ways of taking advantage of the dumb spell targeting. Just, you know, later. No, oh, my monk. I didn't block that one. Well, you know, win some, you lose some. Is this a good turn for that? Oh, that's pretty good. That gets almost everything. Deal. Two levels. Well, it wasn't perfect. She did go down a monk, unfortunately. Such happy little music. I'm settling in for more Liana kills. Can't get there. Good. Yeah, we'll let you get healed up. All right. We got our little cone of protection. We killed most of the ghosts, which should make it a lot safer. And uh, the plan for Liana is to kill the rest of the ghosts and probably the skeletons of the Lich. And that should be fine. Uh, meanwhile... Can we start uh, just spamming some fireballs over here? The, the trouble is the Grenadiers have 27 defense. I'm not sure how much damage we can do to them. In melee. They're just going to heal it up. Alright, we're going to be a bit cleverer. I want them to kind of break on our lines so we get a... I actually don't know if the archers can help on this one, sadly. Uh, I have a bit of a feeling the archers aren't going to do any real damage. We're probably going to need two combat units. Of flyers. This would be a good time to have some cavalry. I, I Maybe I should have brought some cavalry because... I wasn't thinking Grenadiers. Now we ran out of music again. Hold on. Well, let's finish this. The fireball just chips them down a little bit. That's if it even hits them. Targeting's pretty bad there. Uh, spooky, spooky skeletons and ghosts. I think they're just trying to get to my weak monk. Smart AI, maybe. This is for Cardinal Zorum. I'll send you all to hell. That's not good. Hmm, you're doing quite well. well. That was better than I expected. Uh, let me get some more music here. Let me, uh... Oh, no, no. All right. Let me go back to... This is... Can't. Hold on just a second, everybody. Uh, I'm trying to go back to the the other playlist that's a little bit longer. There we go. All right, back to back to Der Langrisser music. Sorry, tabbed out. I, the way I'm recording my emulator is a little bit fiddly, so I tab out and you get to see my background Firefox. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, this is fine. Also, I haven't saved in a while, so let's save. Now, I don't think 23, da 23 attack even plinks on a 27. 25 is not going to do anything. I think Blue's Harpies are actually the only way we hurt the Grenadiers. And it might be best... Well, it's an interesting decision on if the Fireball would do more effect overall than the... Um, than Attack Up. Um, let me double check here. So, 25 plus 7. I should learn exactly how much this gives us. 
there is a more powerful attack to spell later. So that's a plus three damage. That's pretty big. There's only two Grenadiers, actually. So, Blue has the best odds, I think, against a Grenadier, because he's got the Cavalry advantage. Let's see how it goes. I mean, that was fine. <laughs> fine. Blue's pretty awesome, okay? I think I'll try to let Keith kill the regular soldiers. Because Blue is literally level 7 already, so. He does not need the, uh, the free XP. Hmm, not a great encounter. Last Grenadier. The last Grenadier is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. Let's just combo the 8 HP guy. Oh, you know, I bet you, well, maybe. How much do they got? Tw 18 defense? Uh, unfortunately, we lose our, um, our commander bonus here, but maybe? Pfft, can't even. Stupid archers. <laughs> this is why nobody likes you guys. I spend all this money. Archers are actually some of the more expensive units. And then they suck. Spent like 300 gold on these archer elves, and they've done like literally nothing this whole map. Should never, never spend money on them. That's a bad idea. Couldn't kill a slime, can't kill a soldier. Well, I killed one. I know, they're out of range. If Hein was a little bit closer or had a bigger command range, they probably would have done fine, but. And then soldier, grenadier, soldier. Maybe we can get the one on the... No. No easy attacks. Well, we could send Lester in. Not really. He does... Well, he will probably... I mean, he'll get a level up at the end of battle no matter what, right? So it's fine, but... Let's just work on our wall. I think we're in a pretty good position overall, it's just... I don't know if I should put him next to Vargas. <laughs> that might be a bad idea. Might be a bad idea. I really didn't position this very well, did I? Vargas has a crazy high command range. Oh no, he did last time, not this time. I was thinking he might try to sweep around behind, but... Alright. Well, that didn't go perfectly, but... Meanwhile, in Ghost Town... We got a boss that needs to die. Poof, goes the ghost. Thank you. You're welcome. Look at these ghosts getting a terrain advantage on a wall. How does that, how is that fair? I guess you get really high defense on these little balconies. Let's just try to lock this guy in. I, I don't really want Sherry to get the kill. I mean, Sherry can kill the Wolfman. That's fine. Um, I'm just going to let her fairies kind of block these guys in a little bit. Sure, you know what? Make a little square. Oh, uh, there is supposedly an item in here, maybe. Uh, although it's a, it's a rune stone, and I think the uh, unique items, a lot of times they're on like more than one map, but you can only get one copy of them, so uh, 
I'll try to get it before the end of the map, but it might not be available because we got a runestone on the last map. Well, I never talked about runestones. Um, during the equipment phase, we could have equipped a runestone. Uh, the way they work, as far as I can tell, is um, you don't want to use them right now. They don't really give you any equipment bonuses. But if you equip one, they're consumed the next time you get to a level 10, and they reset you back to like a low-level promotion. But you get to keep your stats and your auras and spells and stuff. So basically, you're... Um, you're doing a, a class change or reroll where you go back to a lower level and therefore you'll gain more levels and you can go a different route. You can actually take a different... You can choose a different class promotion and get multiple different spells and, and abilities by doing that. Which is... Uh, I haven't tried it yet, but it sounds kind of cool. Okay. Uh, let's deal with some ghosts. Be one of the easier things to do here. Dang it. I was hoping we could kill uh, all three of the spooky ghosts, but... If I hadn't had one of her monks get killed, it would save us a little bit of time, but this is fine. We're, we're pretty much done here. I think one of the things I gotta remember is um, Liana. Her troops are not great at killing, but as long as they're in her aura, they get a ton of defense. Plus eight is a lot of defense. And it just keeps getting better with her uh, promotions, so. She really is like a defensive aura kind of character, which is pretty good for a for, for cleric, for a healer. Now these guys, hmm, 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 hmm. There's one more grenadier. I would like Lester to get a kill. I don't... We'll give it a try. I don't know if he can one-shot. He probably won't. I'm just... This is for science. For science. Yes, not close. Okay. Let's try to get some uh, elf damage. That's the plan. I bet you this will do three damage, right? Four. Even better than expected. I mean, this doesn't really matter much. I just want to see if Lester could get a promotion. Level up. Now, if you don't want to use them on water maps, Assassin would get him onto ground units. But soldiers and barbarians are trash, so I'm not sure about that. Um, it looks like a pretty garbage class to me. I haven't ever tried it. I think Roga can promote to Assassin as well, if you're into it. Uh, Captain keeps him as a C unit, and he does get Elves, so, you know, he's got a ranged option on land battles, and then Mermans for C battles. And we might as well have at least one unit that can do C battles, so. It's not a huge upgrade right now, but, yeah. So, Vargas is going to be tricky, and the Grenadiers, man. 21 defense. Well, let's see if we can do a little bit of damage. Just got to chip him down a bit. 23 versus 21 and we can do nothing. Twenty-three versus eighteen with defense in the forest, and we got a couple kills. Better than nothing. Ah, <sighs> priorities, priorities. So I think. Might as well let one of the fairies go for the uh, regular guy. Yeah, what'd you expect? All right. Now, the question is who does blue go after? We know he can we know blue can kill grenadiers at least when he had the attack up. I don't think anybody else can kill them with 27 defense, which is more than the boss, so I think it pretty much has to be blue as like a cav. And it's quite easy for him, so get that out of the way. Now, as far as fighting the boss, uh, 
I don't know if these guys can survive. I probably wouldn't attack, but this is more science-seeing than anything. Wait, what are... You get 21 from Keith's Fairies. Or 17. Okay, Keith Fairies is the way to go. As far as, like, the most defensive. For the first attack. <laughs> well, the good news is that did do a damage, which means Vargas probably will heal next turn. And then Blue should be able to finish him off. I I'm curious if the Harpies even have a chance. So let's just see. I think they'll just die. Oh, no, never mind. They did amazing. Okay. I guess it's just the higher base attack power really made a big difference. It, it's still a mystery. I still don't really understand the combat mechanics all that well. I mean, uh, obviously the stats matter, but um, I think there's a pretty... There, there has to be a very large variance in, um, you know, equal stats, but... Or, or whatever the stats are, but the RNG is kind of, you know, plus or minus five damage kind of thing. All right, I think that's our turn, and we're can, we're kind of in wrap up mode, so let's speed through a little bit here. All right. Would I want anyone other than Blue to get the final blow? I mean, Hein could get the. It would be nice to get Hein some XP, but we'll play this at normal speed. For all them future tubers, I want to see Vargas die to blue one more time. <laughs> How many times do I have to knock you down, old man? Take your warhammer and your buckler again. Oh, I can't die yet. One day I will surely avenge Zorum. Enjoy what little remains of your lives. Alright, he tried. Now, the rest of the team probably isn't going to contribute too much. I definitely didn't need to deploy the archers. I didn't get anything here. Um, I probably, I think it's safe to say I deployed more than I needed to, with, without a doubt. But it's fine. Uh, okay, let's see. Can we get around this guy? Yes. Barely. Good. If we hadn't killed him, that actually would have been kind of awkward. Alright, we can kill the ghost. Excellent, excellent. And, I mean, there is a good reason. I mean, I mentioned it earlier, obviously, but uh, I do think it's a good idea to really feed Liana as many kills as you can on this map. Um, classically, your healers just level up so slowly in these kinds of games. And normally her troops are just trash. They can't really kill anything. But in this specific map, between turn undead, which I'll recharge and kill skeletons for fun, and uh, just the monks being pretty good against ghosts, uh, this is definitely like her best map for... Honestly, I think it's quite a long time before she gets an equivalently powerful... Uh, like, before we have another map with monsters for her to just slaughter, right? Like, it'll probably happen again, but it might be a while. And uh, yeah, we can just let Sherry clean up. Or at least we can try. Oh, right. So there's a, there's a secret item, maybe, to go pick up. And... Did you know... There are a couple secret missions in this game? So there's a optional side... Mission that we can unlock. It's kind of hard to get at. Well, it's very easy to miss. Let's just say that. Just like a lot of the secret areas, you... I mean, you've been watching this map. Could you guess the one tile that only your leader must stand on to get a secret area? Unless you're looking at a walkthrough or have played it before, I bet you you wouldn't have guessed. Alright, so blue's the one that needs to get to the secret, uh, the bonus content. And, uh, we'll see. You guys probably could never guess where he's going. I'll give you a hint. 
it's sort of related to where Egbert started. Sort of. All right, Wolfman. You, the werewolf really didn't do a great job. Ow! He says, "The thieves are stronger than I had expected." Yeah. And we can technically summon a Valkyrie now if we had more MP. We don't have enough. I could summon one if I rallied for a couple turns, but this is where Egbert started, by the way. That's your hint. I think I'm just gonna ignore everybody. You might notice Blue is not going over to the side where Egbert was. Now I'm gonna try to get Sherry to go for the secret item if possible. I might have to look up the coordinates again. But... Now the last time I played, when I was just testing the game out, uh... what's her face? Jessica actually, um charge towards the boss. I don't know why she's playing smart this time, but last time she kind of suicided. Well, not suicide, but she was definitely rushing up. All right, so somewhere over here, I'm going to have to count out some squares. It might even be back there. I'll have to look it up. Don't want to kill the boss till I unlock all the secrets, though. Okay, let me check the... Uh... This is map number six. So 11 over four down might have a rune stone, but you know, the last one, the last one had a rune stone. So they off, I mean, it seemed like I couldn't get the second speed boots and I know some of them are sort of linked. So maybe we can still get another rune stone, but 11, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. One, two, three, four. Well, that's exactly where the thing was. It's a little bit dangerous to get up there. Is it dangerous? Skeletons can't fly or anything. We need to get three tiles closer. I don't even think the skeletons will attack her. Which is kind of funny for them. <laughs> Ah, uh, Mr. Lich. I don't even know if he's got any magic or anything. He doesn't seem very tough. I don't think the defenders of this crypt were actually very dangerous, but it is kind of a nice, you know, it's a fun. You get to you get to use your cleric, right? You turned her into a cleric, right? Level up. That puts her at level eight. I was hoping she would get all the way to. Um, to promotion again here, but she's almost there, so it's fine. Let's uh let's do the save trick. Let's just find out if this is the tile. No? What about this tile? Yeah. Sometimes these guides not super reliable, let's just say. I am I'm fairly sure this was a typo or a, um, what are we calling them? Some kind of misunderstanding where the item is not actually here because, um, it could just be linked. It's like Final Fantasy 1 on the NES. There's a bunch of weird chests that are linked together that once you open one, the other one's gone. So this runestone might only be here if you missed it on the first, on the previous map. That's kind of what it looks like. So let's just move on. All right, and you can stop with your soldier nonsense. And so can you actually. I have a plan for her, don't worry. You might have noticed we had a cool Valkyrie summon. That's how we're killing the boss. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna withhold from you guys. No, Jessica, get out of there. I think she's moving up. Maybe it's because Blue is moving. 
Unfortunately, <laughs> two squares at a time. <laughs> Not happy about you guys moving on your own. Jessica, you better not kill this boss. I think she'll probably just fireball him. But blue has to get to a specific tile. And I still need to summon my Valkyrie. So as far as I know, you can only have one summon at a time. Um, you can't just summon a whole bunch of them and keep rallying and summon more and build yourself an army of Valkyries. Although that would be awesome. Yeah, she's just going to cast fireball. She'll never kill him with that. So, did you guys figure out where the secret is yet? Summon time! She does get experience for anything the Valkyrie kills. And, uh... <laughs> say hello to our currently strongest unit. I believe. Uh, 36 attack power. 24 defense power. In the aura of Liana, it also gets... 37 attack and 32 defense. There's nothing on a field that could take it. Um, that would be stronger than the boss we just killed. Maybe even strong enough to fight Egbert. Uh, and, and, it comes with fireball and quick. Quick makes you gain uh, some extra movement for your whole unit. Uh, for probably just one turn or something. But fireball is fireball. We already know fireball. It's great. <laughs> it's not going to be as strong as uh, Heinz fireball, but... Yeah, Valkyrie summons are real good. I would say probably summons in general are very strong in this game. Alright, so remember Egbert spawned right over here somewhere? Well, maybe you should explore this side somewhere. Not quite there. Not quite. This, I need my lord to fly again. This, this... Horse movement for required spots is just trash. The muscular shrine? What could this mean? Maybe we'll find out later. So there, that unlocks the uh, side dungeon. And now we move up and send in the Valkyrie. A reckless human do pick a fight with one such as I. I will show you the experience of eternity. Will you? No, you won't. Yeah, Valkyrie is crazy overpowered. Don't even... Don't even try. It... 10 MP is a deal. <laughs> it is a discount deal. Impossible! I cannot be defeated. Is he, though? If he's a lich, don't you need, like, phylacteries, right? You know the drill. Hi, level up. Yay for Hein. Roga. Oh, he made it. Class change. Well, he could be an assassin. He'd probably be better as a silver knight. Uh, he can be an assassin. See you later. Level up. Level up. Oh, did she get to 10? Oh no, she's at like level nine. We almost made her all the way to the next promotion. That's good enough. Would have been nice to get a bit further, but it's okay. Uh, it seems we vanquished them all. Regardless, the dark rod is in the hands of the Kaiser. All that he needs now is a catalyst to release his sword's true power. They keep needing more MacGuffins. First they just need the sword, then they need the girl, then they need the rod. Now what? Oh, they needed the papers, right? They need some runes or something. The Kaiser needs a catalyst. Hmm, the Kaiser needs a catalyst. What could it be? I don't know. I don't know. Catalyst to unleash something so powerful can't just be a simple object. You're right. This thing might not even be a thing. This truly has turned into a nightmare. The Dark Rod's been taken, which on its own can level kingdoms like a nuclear bomb, so we've already lost. And we don't have anything about the Catalyst either. We should at least find out more. This is the end. Langrisser is our only hope. The only way to fight fire is with fire, and the only way to fight is a dark sword is a holy sword, and the only way to fight a... Dark Rod is a... Well, you know. <laughs> I can't believe it really exists. 
I mean, we just fought some ghosts and a lich, and we talked about a dark rod that can blow up cities. Surely the legendary holy sword could be real. It's like the whole game is named on it. Uh, with the dark rod in their hands, it's only a matter of time before Alhazard, the evil sword, is un unleashed. In all this world, only one thing can stand against the fully powered Alhazard. Langrisser, the sword of light. You mean Dare Langrisser? So yeah, by the way, where is it? Oh, sealed within the hall castle Baldea. However, that castle vanished long ago from the eyes of man. What, do you have to be like an elf or something? Castle Baldea. I've read of it in manuscripts. Uh, in Estul's Shrine of Light. Baldea was the main castle in Warsong, the first one. So, yeah. I may have an idea where it rests. I mean, I'm pretty sure Jessica knows where it is, but sure. <laughs> All right, I, I entrust Leanna to be your guide. In the meantime, I'll try to persuade some other countries to join. All right, the banner of Zal Kalzath should be a good rallying point. Yep. No, you go to Baldea. No, yes, no, I mean, <laughs> actually, you should go to Baldea. If the Empire is planning to use Alhazad, they cannot ignore the threat Langrisser poses. Before leaving for Baldea, we should mass our forces. Lester, I want you to go with them to Baldea. Ah, uh, Lady Jessica, you know I can't. Lester, worry not about me. I can defend myself. I know fireballs. Right now, all the people of El Sally are at risk. Defend them. But I'm just a pirate, yar. But all right, I'll go to the blue to Baldea. Uh, Liana, I feel a great power from you. I'm still under uncertain what it is. But you must be more confident. You are stronger than you yet realize. Yeah, is she though? Well, she did just summon a Valkyrie, so she's getting there. Hurry! To Valdea! Go before the Empire can attain the Longrisser! Alright, let's go. Except... What if we went to a little side objective first? Farewell, everyone. Take care of yourself. And Jessica knows the teleport spell and bounces out. So she could have just got the Dark Rod anytime if she wanted. So we have to go to Baldea, but what about this weird shrine? It may house another secret behind the door. Yes, investigate it. Well, we may as well see what's through the passage. Hmm, the doorway is another shrine. Maybe we can find something about Alhazad there. Al Hazard. Al Hazard. No. Somehow I doubt we're going to learn much about Al Hazard. But maybe Ah Hazard, just not that one. Alright. Level up. That's now two attack power for blue soldiers and hind soldiers. Huzzah. Speed this up. Cherie's got to level up. Leanna's got to level up. That's good for her Valkyrie. That's another plus one attack. So yeah, that was a good map. I think uh, I didn't need to deploy the elves. Don't deploy the elves if you're playing. They're really useless. The fairies and the bird, the harpies were pretty good. Maybe cavalry would have been better than harpies. It's hard to say. But the monks were obviously a good call. And yeah, you can save some money there if you're, if you're being frugal. And that is the end of scenario six. Next time, question mark number one, we go to side scenario. Hope you guys are excited for... Didn't they call it the Muscular Shrine or something? That sounds interesting. Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for more Der Landreserve.